Good morning, everyone. The title of this video will be named the 5090 RTX Performance from a 4070 Ti Super. So I'm going to run pass mark right now and you'll see the score in the end. So basically what I did was I bought a Alienware R13 um, on eBay and it was new. So I had an R12 and the R12 that I have, I put it in here. So um, it's in that R12 right there. So I put the um, 4070 Ti that I had back in there and I took the 4070 Ti Super and I put it in the R13. So I ran the score and the score was actually higher than the 5090. And I ran it multiple times and it's consistent. So it is possible that I had uh, on the 4070 Ti Super, the uh, GPU on there might have came from a really good band. Because the difference between the R12 and R13 is the R12 has a i7 12th gen and the R13 has a, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, R12 has an i7 11th gen. Uh, 700k this one is a 12 gen uh, 1200k or I'm sorry 1200s I apologize so it really worked out and you'll see the score here in a second and then I'm gonna set the phone down and when I set the phone down I'll open up CPUs and GPUs and then I'll open up pass mark so you can see the score So I don't know if we have any audio files out there. Uh, if we do, the reason why I like the Alienware and the blue light, because this is like the Macintosh blue light. So those, those mono amps um, on the Macintosh, they have the blue lights. And a lot of people like those amps, but those amps are like $25,000, $50,000. So there's no way, and I don't consider myself an audiophile, I would pay that. So, but I do like the blue light. So this really actually, I think is a little bit better than having a Macintosh amp. So I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, that's a synthetic benchmark. But when people do um, on YouTube run all, all of their uh, benchmarks um, and they compare it to Passmark, it pretty much uh, is very accurate. So I don't want to go through uh, running a lot of benchmarks. So it's almost finished here. So the score for 50, uh, 90 on pass mark is like 38. The last time I ran this, um, like last two, three times, I got 39, which is higher than a 50, 90. Okay, so I'll go with this score. It's 38, 54. So I'm going to sit the phone down. So that's the score we have there, 3854. Now I'm going to go to pass mark. So here we have a 3868. So, um, but I'll show you uh, a photo of what I had before. I don't know it didn't come up this time, but I'll show you right here.
So that one was a 38,997. And okay, so here we go. We have the 39,158. So um, there's probably a uh, task running in the background that may have uh, hindered that, caused it to run a bit slower. But yeah, that's higher than the 5090. So I will show you here GPUs. Or in CPUs. And I'll open up Task Manager. And we'll go to the Performance tab and we'll click on the CPU. Okay, there we go. That's the 12th Gen i9 1200F. And this is stock memory, 32 gigs, a DDR5. So the reason why I may be getting a score higher than the 5090 is because of that DDR5. So when I turn this machine on, um, it comes up instantly. And there is a uh, stock uh, Samsung NVMe, one gigabyte, I mean one terabyte. And this is a, a Wi-Fi uh, 6E card. And there we go, that's a 4070 Ti Super. Let's go back to CPUs, and here we go, i9-12900F, 12, 12, 10 nanometer, and uh, yeah, that's the DDR5, 32 gigs. Okay, thank you um, for watching. Uh, be sure to... Hit the uh, like button and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.